Hey guys, Ike here from IkeSoutdoors.com. I'm here today to do another tips video in our series for new hunters and experienced hunters as well. I'm getting a lot of feedback from guys who are experienced hunters saying help, this is helping them out, so I really appreciate hearing that uh, feedback from you guys. Um, and I'm enjoying doing these videos, I really am. Um, today, I want to talk to you about one of the most crucial tools, and I got it backwards, one of the most crucial tools that you can possibly have as a deer hunter. Um, I've been using these for all 20 two years of uh, of my hunting and um, a very very useful tool I wish I had some of my first ones back uh, just to see what was going through my head then um, but this is a field log and I've got the one I've got here is an archery talk I got from archery talk and it's an awesome little field log I've also got several of these these right in the rain um, all weather notebooks I've got several of those um, and I've got several of the just little black and white speckled notebooks the little pocket ones uh, filled up um, and these right here are very important because if you're hunting the same piece of property every year you can really start getting uh, by, by keeping notes and keeping track of, of the information that you're you're getting each time you go out hunting you can refer back to these and you can see hey that they're in this time the deer are in this spot and this time they're over here and this time that you know you'll see patterns evolve from looking at your journals now these aren't going to be maybe not be a one-year pattern they may be two three four five year patterns and it may be certain weather patterns that are you know this year we had an extremely wet summer and this happened and this happened and this happened and this year we had this happen you know this kind of weather and this ha you know you're gonna see that cause and effect um, coming to life in this journal and you're gonna be able to see hey you know we got a lot of rain this summer so that means the acorns are gonna be big they're gonna be but plenty of them you know, I, I gotta I gotta get ready to adapt for that situation, or or hey, this year the farmer planted corn, and because of that, you know this is gonna happen. So you'll get those kind of things, and you'll start seeing them from time to time in these journals. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys this archery talk field log uh, first, uh, because it's got all the information that you're gonna need right in here. And if you if if you're new to it, I suggest rather than order something like this. To order one of these field logs. Uh, I ordered three of them a couple years ago and just really like them. Um, and you can go to archerytalk.com and order them off of there. Very, very, uh, very, very nice little uh, field logs. Um, inside, you've got information on your bow over here, your arrow specification, which I don't ever do any of that stuff because I got too many, too many bows and too much variation in everything I do. Uh, it's also got some track information in here on deer, um, what their tracks look like, left hoof, right hoof, uh, walking, uh, bounding, stuff like that. So good information there. Uh, it's also got some information here, white tail, antelope, black tail, stuff like that. And a little bit of information on tracking and a little info on tracking over here. So a little bit of good, good information in this thing. Um, kill vital area shows you the different angles and things like that. So, um, target accuracy. Of course, I never never mess with that, but that's a good idea. This is the main, the meat of the of the cattle or the field log, and and what I suggest you um, go by uh, in if you're going to be using a log like this. This is the information that's most pertinent to what's going on in your area. One, you got your area location up here, date and time. Um, so that's important as well. You've got weather conditions. Um, these are, are very important. Uh, you got wind direction, barometric pressure, temperature, animals you've seen, uh, GPS coordinates, moon phase, time on stand. So information right there is critical uh, information and in what you need to know. Um, you know, if you go to a stand and you hunt it and say your wind direction's out of the north and you get busted, all the deer are coming from the south. You know, you can write that down in here. Say you get out there and the barometric pressure is dropping and the deer are moving everywhere. Um, you know, it shows you, hey, when the barometric pressure is dropping, deer activity is high. Uh, moon phase is, is important. It's something I hunt by. So you can say, well, we've got a new moon and the deer are moving at this time. So the next time a new moon comes around, you can go, you can record that, and over time you'll start seeing a pattern. Hey, when this moon phase, the deer are moving at this time, and this is what they're doing. Um, temperature, of course, is important. Wind direction, uh, all that stuff. Uh, time on stand, all that stuff is, is very important. And when you start filling these out, you may not see the pattern within a year. But when you get into where you've got two or three of these things, you can go back and look through them, look them over. 
you can start developing a pattern and start seeing a pattern, especially with your moon phase, your barometric pressure, and things like that, as far as what the deer are doing when those are going on. Um, it's also got an area over here you can draw a map. So you can say from this location right here, you've got a, 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 a grid over here that you can draw you a map on, and you can use the little key, just real simple little map, which I'll show you some of you're on in the back. And you, the deer are moving from this direction, and you saw this many, and they were doing this. And you're stand, you can you can start gathering information from from your maps and from your information over here, um, and you can really start learning from that information. So that is a very very important, and that's one of the reasons why I keep a log, especially if I'm hunting new land. I really keep a detailed log. If I get to where I'm hunting the same piece of property years and years and years, and I've got five or six filled logs on them I get kind of lazy and I don't really fill them out anymore but anytime I'm hunting a new area or and especially when I was new to hunting I filled these out all the time and I really learned a lot just from looking at these journals and going back and, and stuff that I didn't think about then you know you go back and you start looking these over and they're they're neat to look over you know five six years later you think God what was I doing what was I thinking you know but um uh, you know you start going over these things and you start thinking and realizing there's stuff that you missed you know and you didn't see it at, at that day you didn't connect it in your mind and then you see it on paper and you start seeing a pattern develop and you start connecting it in your head and you realize hey there's a pattern here and I'm, I'm, I'm now seeing it and I can now take the appropriate steps to take advantage of this pattern so it, it's very very important to do that and We've got here is my, uh, like I said, these maps aren't going to be great. I've got two maps drawn in the back, back here. And what I've got here is I've got, uh, let's say, let's use this one for example. I've got um, just a real basic little key down here showing different things, uh, what different colors represent, different symbols represent. Um, this land is cut out. It's got a house right here and a yard right here. It's a very small property. Um, everything here, of course, is trees. And I've got two locations that are minerals and food plots. I've got them drawn on there. And I've got stand locations on there as well and spots for my climber. And I've got a little key right here saying, hey, this is a, a big draw and a big bedding area. So I can look on this information this year and you'll be surprised next year how much things are going to change. Um, same way with this one. i got one on this side. Uh, of a different property. It's got a big pond on it and, and I've got information all about what's going on on that property and if you start hunting the same location every year I still hunt, I still draw these same maps from the same locations just to know the, the different changes um, that I'm seeing and what I'll do with this map as I go back as the year goes on I'll come in here and I'll write down, I'll make myself a little symbol. Usually for a buck I draw an antler and for a doe I just draw an upside down U for a slick head. And I'll, I'll come in here and I'll put an upside down U and put uh, the date above it and put four or how many I ever saw. And then I know I can go back to that date entry log and I can see what I did. But I start seeing, okay I'm seeing all the does here and all the bucks are here and, and information like that. I can start actually instead of just trying to keep it all straight in my head. Uh, I saw a buck over here and he was headed that direction, you know. Um, I can start getting a pattern of him and I can start saying, you know, I seen this buck headed here and he was going this direction. Then I seen him coming from here and he was headed this direction and I can start getting a pattern on him and I can start telling myself, seeing it in front of me and I can start connecting the dots about what this deer is doing and, and actually not have to visualize it in my head. I can keep it all straight right here in this log. So that's the reason of course we got some other stuff back here in this one too uh, information on landowners that's a real good thing to have on there you really want to uh, to keep that and first aid good quick first aid for in case you get hurt out in the field just quick little things as far as what to do if you or one of your friends gets hurt so um, that's the kind of information that I keep in my logs and that if you're just starting out that is uh, the archery talk log is, is a very good one. Um, these right in the rain ones are, are pretty good because you can write, this one's a brand new, hasn't even been marked in yet. Um, you can write with them on a pencil and even if they get wet it ain't going to hurt them at all. I've got a couple of these and I really like these. Um, and I've got a call, all kinds of uh, good applications. So, um, but if you're new to, to hunting, I suggest a field log like this that's got some information that you want to keep track of. But keep track of that information. And over time, you'll start seeing patterns and you'll start seeing 
um, certain keys that you can you can take and you can you can key off of those things that are happening and you can you'll know where you need to be and you'll know what time that you need to be there and you'll know all the information and eventually after keeping these for a couple years um, you'll start seeing those things without having to look back at these journals but it's amazing what I've learned from going back and reading my journals uh, on stuff that I didn't pick up on the first time so this is a very very important tool and one that I still use after 22 years of hunting um, and one that uh, I, I use a lot when I'm new on a new piece of property very very useful on a new piece of property and for a new hunter man my my first ones the, these now I don't fill them up you know I don't I don't just this won't be page to page now this year or cover to cover but when I was new to hunting this thing would have been full and they're a good way to keep yourself entertained in a tree stand you can set up here and write different things you know and it's a good way to keep your mind busy while you're out hunting so um, for this one check it out on archery talk we'll put a link below um, to their store and for more product reviews how-to videos you can check out our website ikesoutdoors.com appreciate you guys watching